I'm Ryan and you guys are watching RC Fun and Games and today we're going to be doing some aesthetic upgrades to the Traxxas TRX4M Bronco. I got the case set from Injura and I've also got the Max Trax to fit to the top of the vehicle. But we'll also be making some scaled tow ropes out of some hemp string. I'll show you guys how to make some of them for your vehicles. Now guys, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you guys like the content. Soon there are going to be a lot more upgrades to fit to both of them. So smash the bell so you don't miss what's coming guys. Now, let me get stuck straight into work. Okay, let's start by opening up these packets and getting straight in there. Let me get our three cases with some stickers. As you guys can see, we get some really cool stickers for the cases. And here are the actual cases. We have already seen them before. I fitted them to the Defender. And you know what? The quality is pretty good. They actually all open up. Let me see if I can get one open for you guys so you guys can see. There you are. As you guys can see, you can carry some screws, some bearings. I don't know, anything that you need on the trail. It's a good idea to have them that they can actually open. We also get the long case and we also get this short little tiny case. So I'm going to stick the stickers on and we'll get these max tracks open as well. So you guys can see the quality quickly. So let me just here we are they're a bit small I would say for the scale guys they could have made them a little bit bigger but you know what they're not bad let me just get them out of the package here the quality is cool they got some nice cool grip on them they're a bit on the light side but that's good for accessories so you don't overweigh the top of the vehicle I think they look great guys so we'll be putting both of those together and probably on the back of the roof or something and we're going to be fitting these cases so I don't have to carry those two big drums because they're making it very top heavy so anyway let me get the stickers on And don't forget, all the cases open up. Now, let's get these guys out of the way because you guys are... Oh, wait, wait, you guys want to do something, right? Well, then grab a case each, guys. Gonna take these drums off. That net is just very big for that roof rack. So, anyway, let's start by putting these cases. Hey, guys. So, let's grab this one and this one. Thanks for your work there, buddy. Can I have this case, man? Thank you, dude. Just stand over there, I'll sort it out. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start making some scale tow ropes to put on the vehicle. I'm gonna take about 60 centimeters of this hemp string. Just gonna give it a slice right here, guys. Now we grab that piece, roughly the scale size should be two fingers length for this kind of vehicle. So I'm going to take it right here, bring that to halfway through so the loop will hold it at the end. I then start wrapping around my fingers guys. I hope I'm catching this on camera so you guys can actually see it. It's nothing special, anybody can do this. I just think it's nice scale items and it's always nicer to make them yourself than to buy all these things. Okay, make sure I leave an extra tail. So now we pull it off my fingers, try and get it to become long -wise. Now we bring it down here and we Start wrapping it around. Four, make sure you keep it as straight as you possibly can. And you want the smaller piece on top so it looks more realistic. I'm 
once again just readjust make sure it's sitting all nice and straight last one then we make a loop just like in real life guys come through the back Okay, we've got our loop coming through now. So what we do with our loop is we put it over everything so it holds it all together. Let's first put that strain through and then we throw it around the head of our tow rope. Now, as you guys can see, this is how it ends up. Now, you take it and you just put that through there, run it to the top, do one loop. Put it to the center. And of course, your second one just to make sure. Once that has been done, there you are guys, you've got your rope. Okay. Now, I like to take a little bit of super glue so that it doesn't come loose. I take a bit of super glue and all I do is I actually glue, just put a little bit on it. That will all just secure it in place guys so that it doesn't come loose do the same to the top hitch that you made okay and as you guys can see like that it will all stay together and even if you catch a twig or something it won't just pull it apart okay and it's still got the realistic look of a tow rope Then all I do is I like to take it, let me just get you out of my way I did, and I like to wrap it. Now guys, I just take a little dab of super glue and put it on there again. Wait for it to dry, and you've got your tow rope fitted, which won't just come apart. And there you guys can see. Got my tow rope on. I cut the excess piece off. And we're done, guys. So as you guys can see, that's how it ends up looking. I think that doesn't look too bad. Now, just for fun, I will do another one and I'm going to put it on the other side of the vehicle. And there you are. Scale rope number one. scale rope number two so he's got plenty of cool gear on his we can stick back his drum okay guys i didn't really show you guys how i put the max tracks on but basically it's just the hook it's just holding it on there on the roof rack so like that we can actually use them out on the trail and i'll see if the next video i can up my game a bit guys and show you guys something really cool so we've got the max tracks we've done our tow ropes on that side and it's, it's the same we've got our cases on the top and everything else guys this was just a small aesthetic upgrade video and i hope you guys enjoyed it you can use any color string you want you can use whatever you want i just find that the hemp rope really does look quite scale not so much on these newer vehicles but on the older vehicles the hemp rope really suits it and what i like about the hemp rope is, rope is that it's stiff so it always keeps its pattern and it looks really nice and tidy. The guys are just busy finishing off the tidying up on it. 
But that's it, and I wanted to say thanks for joining me on another video, guys. And hopefully, I'll be back very soon to do some more performance upgrades on the Traxxas TRX4M Bronco and Defender. So, catch you soon, guys!